Maybe it's true. We all find ourselves in lives we didn't expect. But what I learned was... Powerful men don't have to be cruel. I had been watching a lot of gangster movies from the 30s and 40s and really getting into the genre and as luck would have it at the same time, Leonardo DiCaprio's company sent me this book uh, to take a look at and I thought this fits right in with this mold of film that I've been really appreciating and admiring and I thought it'd be great to sort of try to make a love letter to classic 30s and 40s cinema, you know, but speaking a modern contemporary language. I got one guaranteed life. I was gonna live it. I had a plan. I love Dennis's book. I love the language. I love the it's punchy and sexy and dramatic and full of, you know, great themes, revenge, true love, vengeance, loyalty, you know, it's cops and robbers, mobsters knocking each other off, the whole thing. Joe Coughlin starts off as a guy who goes to the First World War as a believer. He becomes very disillusioned after that war and thinks it was purposeless, really, and decides he's not going to take orders from anybody and he's going to be, be, become an outlaw. And so he takes up a life as an outlaw and, uh, and kind of lives that way, living by night for a period of time until he gets caught up with the girlfriend of a mobster. And uh, he and the mobster's girlfriend basically work to take on the, the mobster and rip him off. And ultimately he finds out and uh, that sets Joe on his journey. Do you think that we got where we are by letting some inbreds muscle us? If that's who you think we are, you're making a fatal miscalculation. We're clerks and bankers and police officers and we even got a judge. And if you're dumb enough to fight us, I'm gonna rain bloody hell fire down on you and all you love. Live by night means sort of living by your own rules, living by your own set of uh, morals, you know, the, unfettered by the sort of how you would live by day, where you have to follow all the laws and rules and that sort of thing. And uh, there's a, the, Dennis Lehane posits that there is a price for living by night, and that's what the movie is about. There's a couple of action sequences in the movie. There's a car chase sequence in the movie, and I had done a, a car chase in the town that I really liked, and I wanted to try something different. And you know, using these old cars was definitely a challenge to make it as gripping and visceral as it could possibly be. And there's an extended shootout confrontation at the end that um, you know I just wanted to put the audience in the shoes of the characters and have them be as as frightened and as um, feeling under siege as the characters were. 